What is up YouTube? This is Eli Beaverson Golf and welcome to my updated 2018 What's in the Bag. So guys, before we get right into the video, make sure you give it a like if you enjoy it at any point and hit that subscribe button if you happen to be new. I post lots of cool golf tent around here from challenges to course vlogs to just cool little videos like this one. So for my putter, I am gaming a very old Titleist dead center putter. In fact, cool story about this, this is actually my dad's putter but he's been letting me use it this season and I've had it in the bag since about April or May. It is the Topsider TS253 model. It is just a blade style putter with a standard Lampkin cross leg grip on it. And I've putted pretty well with it overall. feel pretty confident with it. Hence why it is still in my bag. And secondly is my 56 degree sand wedge. It is a tailor made to a preferred ATV grind. I've had it in the bag for this entire season. And I've got it in the stock KBS Tour V Wedge Flex shaft and I've got a Golf Pride MCC Plus 4 grip on it. I really love this wedge, it's very versatile. This grind is amazing around the greens, on full shots, out of the bunkers. It is really my go-to club whenever I've got a shot of about 100 yards or less. Next up we have my 52 degree gap wedge. It is an old McGregor VIP. It has six degrees of bounce, it's a forged head. And even though it is old, the grooves do conform to the newest groove rule. And I just love this club, I'm confident with it. And I have really no reason to switch. I've just got the stock wedge flex shaft in this as well. And next up I've got my iron set, which I have in four iron through pitching wedge. I just purchased them this year. I've got a set of Wilson Staff FG Tour F5 irons. These are beautifully forged, they feel incredible and they look stunning. I have them in Dynamic Gold XP shafts in the S300 Flex, and I've got an 8-iron here. I'm just gonna clip away a shot. And for my 3-iron, I have the Air Force One AFX Pro. This is probably a brand you've never heard of, but this is a fantastic club. It's a little bit bigger size, but it's got some forgiveness. I love hitting shots off the tee with it. You can hit low stingers like Tiger. Those are really fun. And I just have it in a standard stiff flex shaft. Next up is one of my oldest and most reliable clubs in the bag. It is my Forwood. It's a Tour Edge Exotics XCG7 Beta. It's got 16 and a half degrees of loft, and I actually have it in a Matrix Red Tie Regular Flex Shaft. This is the only club in my bag with a regular flex shaft, and I love hitting this off the tee, and it is my favorite fairway wood to hit off the deck. And the second to last club in my bag is my three wood. This is my go-to club off the tee. If there's a hole where I'm not feeling too confident about hitting driver. This has 15 degrees of loft. It is a Tour Edge Exotics E8 Beta. I've got this in an Aldila Rogue stiff flex shaft. And this goes for me about 240 yards off the tee. And last, but by certainly no means least, is my driver. I've got a Cobra King F7 Plus. This is another new addition to the bag this year. I upgraded over my older Bioso Plus, and I really love Cobra drivers. This one is no exception. I have it in 10 and a half degrees loft with the heaviest weight in the back of the club for added forgiveness and trajectory. I have it in a Fujicore Exhilarate Pro 61 stiff flex shaft, and I really, really love this club, and it goes long way. My golf bag itself is a Nike Air Hybrid and I've got it in this cool blue and navy blue colorway. And so now we're going to take a look at some of the accessories I've got in my bag. Starting off with my alignment sticks, I keep these with me so I can take them to the range 
and make sure everything is lined up properly. They're really nice because they break down small like this, so if I need to stuff them in my bag for any reason, I can do that. Now in the main compartment on the left, I have my golf glove, which is an MG Golf Dynagrip Elite. These are fantastic Cabretta gloves and they're really cheap. And for my ball marker on the greens, I use a 50 cent coin. It's just nice and easy to find from far away. In here, keep all my golf tees. In here, I've got my spare gloves and permanent markers. And in here is where I would just keep snacks and stuff that doesn't need to be cold. Here I've got the cold compartment to keep water bottles. Now the main compartment on the other side of the bag is where I keep my golf balls. And right now I'm still playing the few Strixon Z-Star yellows from 2015 I have left. But then I'll be transitioning to the 2017 models very soon. Absolutely love these, these are fantastic. And here I've got my waterproof area where again I keep anything that needs to be protected from water. I've got yards book in here, rules of golf in here, stuff like that. All right, that does it for my 2018 updated what's in the bag. I hope you have really enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to check out some more of my videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.